Hey guys, what's up? This is Brian with another Optimal Living 101 video. This one's very simple. We're going to make it short. but It's also huge. This is one of the most powerful ideas I've ever implemented in my life. 99% is a bitch. 100% is a breeze. Jack Canfield from his Success Principles tells us this. Quote, successful people adhere to the no exceptions rule when it comes to their daily disciplines. Once you make a 100% commitment to something, there are no exceptions. It's a done deal, non-negotiable, case closed, over and out. Thank you, Jack. Keywords here, non-negotiable, 100% commitment, case closed, over and out, no exceptions, we can add to that, and done deal, non-negotiable. Just love that word, non-negotiable. What in your life needs to be non-negotiable? When we set habits for ourselves and we only get to a 99% standard, we've created a little crack between 100% and 99%, and that's where a little whiny voice can slip into that crack. And when we wake up one morning and we don't feel like putting in our one or five or 10 minutes of meditation, We'll let that little whiny voice negotiate with us. But if it's 100%, it's non-negotiable. It's not up for discussion. Case closed. I said I'm going to meditate every day, and I'm going to meditate. I said I'm going to exercise for at least 10 minutes of walking a day, and that's what I do. It's 100% commitment. So 100% is paradoxically way easier to do. I remember I used this. I've used this throughout my life a number of times. I used to eat like crap. McDonald's. Burger King, Kukuru out here in California was like health food for me. Now, when I had a kind of sort of almost commitment, 95, 99% commitment, every time I drove by a McDonald's, this is like thankfully about 10 plus years ago now, it, the question was, is today the day? Is today the day where I deserve that 1%? And guess what? Every day felt like it should be that day. <laughs> when I made it a 100% commitment, it was easy. I quit noticing them. It was no longer part of the equation. It was non-negotiable. I had made a 100% commitment, case closed, over and out. So we need to look at what in our life is worthy of that type of 100% commitment and then rock it. My meditation practice, which I started, what, over five years ago now, or whatever it's been, uh, I did so successfully because it became a 100% commitment. It's a lot easier to meditate every day when you have a 100% commitment than when you have a 99% commitment. It's huge. It's, it's crazy how 99% is a bitch, 100% is a breeze. You just don't need to think about it anymore. Um, these videos, I'm doing one of these videos every weekday, five a week, all year, 250 videos. Whether I feel like it or not is irrelevant. We're going to talk about that some more in future videos, whether you feel like it or not. Well, that's nice. Now what needs to be done? Um, exercise is another great one to throw this into. Just move every day for at least 5 or 10 or 15 minutes. You're going to walk or stretch or whatever. Make a 100% commitment. So identify what in your life deserves the 100% commitment. And you might be suffering from some goal hangover right now. We'll talk about that in a future video. Um, and you might have set too many goals. You can't set 100 goals at 100% commitment. You can't even set 10 goals at that or 5 goals at that or 3 goals at that, really. Pick one thing in your life that's worthy of a 100% non-negotiable, no exceptions, done deal, case closed, over and out commitment. And then make that commitment to it. That one thing that will have the most positive impact in your life when you start doing it, and perhaps more importantly, the one thing that when you stop doing it will have the most positive impact in your life. What do you need to stop doing? Make a 100% commitment to that. What do you need to start doing? The one thing, start doing that. 99% is a bitch, 100% is a breeze. Try it out. I think you're going to be blown away by the power of this. Hope you dug it. Look forward to sharing more with you soon. We're going to talk about this and all kinds of other ideas in the uh, action class. This is one of the, my big ideas on action, time management, etc. I'll put a link to that below. Have fun. See you.